Okay, that's fine. Cool. Yeah. I've got to say, fair play to Murata this year. I mean, a chapter every other week so far, and they're decent sizes as well. I've just got... He's doing really well. I was surprised. I, I thought I was panicking because I was on a train that had to go for a meeting for work, and... Uh, I found out the new chapter came out and I was really panicking, I wasn't going to be able to get to do it today. I've literally... Priorities change when One Punch Man comes out. Like, I read it, it was really good, I wanted to talk about it. Uh, I was supposed to... I was going to walk home, got a taxi instead, because I wanted to talk about it. I literally walked down to pizza in like two minutes, and... But that's enough about that. You're here about One Punch Man, so let's talk about One Punch Man. One Punch Man 72, Monster Transformation, begins with where chapter 71 left off, with Goketsu showing up to the arena with the Free Crows, and he's basically saying, Yo, this is what's happening. Um, so immediately, Max and Snake, they show up, and i got to say, fair play to them. They show up, and they're straight away like, we're not letting this happen. You're not, like, this isn't working. And they get one shot. Like, I, I admire the bravery. I just wish they didn't go us down like such suckers. But at the very least, it got, well, that's basically got everyone out of there. And from there, we learn who Goketsu is. Um, so Goketsu, uh, as the referee explains, was, was the original winner of the super fight. And... With the original winner of the super fight, uh, also, just quickly, Sri wasn't that impressed. Everyone was like, oh my god, A-Class Heroes got taken down so easily. Sri was like, I took him down in one hit. It's not, it doesn't really bother me. So, that kind of... Mm, so, with Sri acting like this, it's kind... He's still very calm about this, and he's like, whatever, this guy's nothing. I think we'll see that change over the next couple of chapters, though. But, of course, we'll get to that when we get to those next chapters. Um, we learned that Goketsu was the original winner of the super fight, the original king, and that's when Suru gets his interest going as well, he's like, original king? Because obviously he wants to fight strong people, uh, which is strange, because I just thought that Suru is okay with fighting strong people, but the moment they turn out to be stronger, he's like, whatever, I don't care about you. Um, we learned he's the original winner of the super fight, um, and apparently he was taken down by the Monster King before? Well, no, we don't know it's the Monster King, I'm assuming it's the Monster King just because of the hand. Uh, everyone thought he died, but he didn't. And the monster, the monster's base, the monster king this time was like, "Hey, you join us, and we'll make you stronger." So, like I said, so Goketsu got took in by the Monster Association by Monster King, and I think that was Psychos who's the other one. And he basically says, to quote him as best as I can, he says, "Humans have limits that cannot be surpassed, but as a monster, I can smash through those walls easily and become greater than I ever was." He says something along those lines. Not the last bit. I just know he says that thing, and. The media that tells us something about Goketsu's character, and especially in comparison to someone like Saitama, who... So Goketsu is probably not... wasn't really that good of a guy beforehand. Like, he... he wasn't like... I wouldn't say he was horrible, but his main concern was just about becoming strong, you know? Like, he didn't really care what happened, he just wanted to become the best he could. Like, he didn't have any kind of moral code, I'd say, too. Uh, similar to Bakuzan. I could compare him quite a bit to Bakuzan in my mind. Um, and then, but in comparison to someone like Saitama, who's got quite, he's got a very strong moral code, you know. He doesn't, like, kill humans. He's all about being a hero. Like, that was his main motivation for becoming strong. He didn't become strong for the sake of becoming strong. He became strong for be being a hero. And I feel like that's a difference between them already. So then, he basically goes, listen, you've got two choices now. I can easily kill all of you, no problem. You're all fodder compared to me. You're all nothing. And that, in its own, like, we're... Mm, and that on its own kind of says, still says stuff about Goketsu. Um, and he says to him, you've got two choices. They're like, I, you can either work for the Monsters Association, and we'll work your asses off, but you're going to live, or I'll just kill you right here, it's your choice. Join us or die, basically. And he threw, and he throws these monster cells on the floor, and it's like, you know, I, don't, I was about to say more, explain what monster cells are, but you should know, but just in case you don't, because everyone forgets, I'm a forgetful little man myself, um, is... They basically, you eat them, and you just swallow it, and you turn into a monster. It's a very, it's a way to turn into a monster. Um, and so it basically gives them the option. Uh, what happened next surprised me. It didn't surprise me completely, because last on the last chapter review I did a One Punch Man. I was talking to someone in the comments about it. He made the point that, you know, the martial artists could turn into, you know, some of the martial artists could end up turning into monsters. And I didn't even, that point didn't even cross my head. I was shocked at what happened still. Um... But nevertheless, like, I was less shot than I would be, otherwise this would be like, oh my god, I didn't see this coming! Uh, but you, I'll put your name down here, uh, good call, you, you predicted it, you got it right. Good job! Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, I'm just, I'm just a disgrace. Ooh, no, okay. So, immediately, Rosie, the psychoanalysis, psycho, the psych, 
the psychoanalysis. Yes, that's the word. He immediately di he immediately dies for it, swallows it. He's like, I'm gonna become strong. Psycho. <laughs> to literally quote him, like you know, for someone who was very confident, like psychoanalysis is the way forward. I'm gonna be the best thing ever. He's like, it's all about the mind in martial arts. Because he got crushed by Dave. <laughs> I love the names though. Like you got all these Japanese, and then you got Dave. I love that. Um, very quickly, he got. He was like, he literally said, psychoanalysis is bullshit. I'm going to defeat you, Tubby, by using sheer force. And he grabs him and just throws him across the arena. And for someone as weak as him, like, he had quite a normal body to, for him to do. That kind of shows, like, the power scaling that monsters have, uh, that taking a monster cell would do. Chose, uh, the assassin, Hisoka kind of guy, immediately kills him. And I was like, oh, he, oh, maybe Chose is a good guy. Maybe or what? No, no, Chose is still at the same time. He says, he basically analyzes it and he's like, this could be great. This could break in my true potential that I've always deserved. And he takes one. Uh, his design is awesome. I didn't mention this earlier, but Goketsu in like that first panel as well, like where it's for, like it's the staring panel, he looks awesome there. Like that's a good design. But Chose's design is really awesome too. He's got that whole like I like that checkered pattern he's got going on, and it's very similar. He's got the spikes, and he's like, I'm a, I'm amazing now. And he and he basically describes to us what the monster cell does to him because he's quite a smart character. He's like, not only does it real, he basically says. It not only doesn't just uh, uh, bump up your strength, it also kills your ethics and your morals and stuff, so you don't have a problem with killing people. So some people, so some monsters who enjoy it are for bad people, but then you don't really feel anything if you kill anyone anyway, it's like whatever. Um, so that was the main thing, I because I had time to think about this as well. I was thinking about it and it eventually got to the point where, okay, so these are like, Chose wasn't a good person, he was an assassin, he, you know, he enjoyed killing people, things like that. Um, my main thought was, what if someone good took a monster cell? Now, really, I was I had two people in mind. So first, 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 <laughs> first there was Saitama. And straight away, Saitama has no need to take a monster cell. He's strong enough as it is already. A monster cell would be pointless for him, you know? He's already, he, there's no way he'd take it. So then, of course, there's only one guy who's heroic as Saitama who just doesn't have the power, and that's Moomin Rider. So, my concern would be, I don't think this would happen until, like, near the end of the series, if, like... For some reason, Moomin Rider was forced to take a monster cell because I can't ever see him taking it willingly. If he took it, but because he's so heroic and just, and he's so righteous, <laughs> righteous, he's basically, you know, he's such a good person, Moomin Rider. If he took it, he would still be a good person, but just with the strength of a monster. Which I would be fine with, because if there's anything Moomin Rider needs, it's a power-up. And he doesn't, because it's, you know, what makes him cool isn't his power, it's his spirit. But nevertheless, I think that's an idea to think about at the very least. Uh, so, like I said, and then... And Cho back to Chose, though. Immediately, he's like, I'm gonna... I'm gonna destroy that fool, even... I'll kill him. I'll kill There's no way I can let him live after defeating me in one shot like that. And I'm like... <laughs> I was very happy because I'm like, I know what, I've got this image in my head of what's going to happen. Saitama's going to show up at some point because the only one who can really sort out the situation. It makes the most sense for him to show up. And then he's going to, then he's like, yo, he's like, I'm, I'm talking. And he's going to backhand him and just like, he'll either like destroy him or he'll go flying into a wall. And I'm like, <laughs> classic Saitama. Uh, I, I can see that happening. I can see him just basically not even giving him a second thought. I'm just like, I'm not talking to you, bam. And finishing him off quite easily. <laughs> Um, so yeah, and then that was the main thing and then we learn obviously of course that the stronger you are as a person, the stronger monster you are, especially because the other martial artists, and it, and it sets this kind of difference between the martial artists, because to be fair, the ones who are the weaker ones, they're at least like, they're more morally just and correct, because they're, they're standing back, they're not doing anything, they're not saying yeah to it, but they're not saying no to it either, you know, they're, they're not, they're just kind of standing back, it was... Lin Lin, Zakos, I think, um, Sour Face, Spice Fist guy, you know, they're all there just doing their own thing. Well, not, they're not even doing their own thing. You gotta stop. You gotta stop with those updates, uh, computers. <laughs> um, they're all doing their own thing at this point. And it was interesting stuff to see. I think, well, at least we learn who's good and who's bad at this rate because, you know, and they all have their individual reasons for taking the monster cells. Um, so, for example, I can't remember his name, uh, I'll put his I have to put names at the bottom so you guys know what I'm on about. Um, top knot guy, like, you know, ponytail up guy, he took it and he, cause he was scared, he's like, I've got to survive, I want to live, he, he was very kind of cowardly about it. Um, the bear man, he 
was just like, screw it, my, my life's not good, I don't make much money, I may as well just live for what I want to do, like, the pay's crap, I may as well become strong while I do it. And, uh, Volten, or Voltaire, uh, he's very, he's like, I've, I got beat by Swiri very easily, I just need to do this, you know? He basically, he does basically say, i there's a way to grow strong, and it's all about their individual beliefs, like, you know, the bear man wants to be free, he's a, like, top knot guy who wants to be a coward, and, uh, well, he's a coward, and... Voltaire just wants to be strong, so, and that's kind of the difference in power between them, like, the ones who desire strength, I've noticed, are actually the stronger ones, so, like, um, <laughs> I love the design of Top Knot Guy, he's just, he's got just an extra eye, and that's about it, and he just looks a bit more evil, <laughs> but apart from that, he looks the same, I know Snack and Max got one shot, I think they could take him, I still think they could take him, Snack could take him before, I think him and Max together could take him, um, Bagman, he looks like a hamster, he just looks like a hamster. <laughs> and I don't think Saitama's going to fight him because I think something else will happen instead. Uh, but Voltaire had, he was just literally, it basically amplified his natural abilities as well, which was shown. So, for example, uh, he could, like, manipulate electricity somewhat. Uh, now he's just living electricity. You know, so it's all their abilities amplified. So if you've got certain power, it will get, it's that greatly amplified. It's not as if you'll forget that either. Um... And they don't show Bakuzan in this chapter as well. As far as... Well, they show him from the back, I think, at one point. I think there's a very... very there's a very likely chance he's going to turn, because... I'll talk about that in a sec, right? Uh, then Swiryu, he just doesn't care about this whole thing. And he's just like... And he's basically... The girl he was hitting on before, she's like, claps on the floor, and he's like... You know, they're only interested in strong people. You can... You can run, that's fine. You can get out of here. Um, and she's like, I can't... I'm, she, she's petrified, she can't move at all. And he's like, okay... Hey, if I beat these guys, will you go on a date with me? And she's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, cool, I'll sort this out then. Cool. Um, and he's just very, and I gotta be honest, Swiryu, he can be annoying because how he just like rejects heroism and heroism. Uh, and you know, he's very kind of self centered. But I gotta admit, at the end, when he's like to the announcer, hey, take her away, I'll sort this out. I was like, you've just been in a fight, can you deal with this? And he's just like, he just starts stretching, and I'm like, so you're pretty cool. You're pretty cool, I think. Um, but yeah, so what I wanted to say was, with Swiryu, um, I think the next chapters, I think they might be breakdown chapters. You know how it's like, part one, part two, part three. I could see that. Uh, mainly because I think this next chapter in particular is just going to be Swiryu being awesome. He's just going to be taking people down left and right. Um, similar to what Genos did, where Genos had his Terminator moment. And it's like, dun 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 dun. I can see Swiryu doing that. Um, I think that will be a really cool moment, definitely. Uh, that I'm interested to see how it's going. Uh, but I think it'll eventually come down to either I'll get stopped by Chose or Bakuzan. I think Bakuzan will be like, screw it, I've got to beat him, I've got to prove I'm the best martial artist and eat that. And then he might, and then we might struggle either with Chose, Bakuzan, or Goketsu. And at some point, I don't think this will happen for, I think it'll be a couple chapters, like one or two, Saitama will show up again and it'll basically teach Suryu a lesson, like an actual lesson about what it is to be a hero too. Because he doesn't know that Saitama's a hero, and I think this is when Saitama, this is what I'm guessing will happen. Saitama will show up, Suryu will take down a few more, I think he'll take down uh, Tara Guy, Bear Man, and uh, Volt. I'm going to call him Volt for now. Well, the, the reason is at the end. Um, so I think he's going to take down those guys, and then when he gets to Chose, either Chose will be like, I've got no interest in Suryu or something. Or I, don't, I can't see that happening, he's probably going to fight Suryu, and they'll be like toe to toe. Kind of like Genos and the Cockroach Man were. Um, or the, or the knife guy, then Bakuzan will take it, and then Sui will be ready on the ropes, because obviously Goketsu will be like, whatever, these guys are still beneath me. So I will show up, bam, Chose, bam, Bakuzan, bam, Goketsu. Sui is going to be like, who who was that guy? Because he wants to actually know now. Um, then eventually the Monster King will find out, and he's going to be like, who took down these guys? So not going to get the credit, not going to be like, watch out for this guy. It's going to go down to Sui, and they'll be like, right, he's S-class level, watch out for him. Which he probably is anyway, because he's around that level. Which, honestly, making also with this chapter, it makes sense, of course, why the Monster Association are so interested in Garo. Mainly because they want to grow strong. And, yeah, well, mainly because they want strong people to become it. And Garo can fight toe-to-toe -to -toe with S-Class heroes. Like, that fight with that was incredible. It's such a good fight. I, there's season two on, there is season two of One Punch Man. But if they follow the manga, that's the... Cool, it's still going. Okay. I thought it ran out of battery. But, yeah. Overall... 
another great chapter of One Punch Man. It was very serious, but I liked it because, you know, with Saitama, it's always going to be kind of silly. And I love Saitama. He's my favourite character. As I'm sure if you watch the previous reviews, you know by now. Uh, but it was nice to get something serious and explain basically what the monster cells do. I mean, it was kind of obvious, you know, it makes you bad and strong. But they just went into a bit detail with it and then it got the mind thinking and stuff. But yeah, thank you for watching this. If you want to talk about One Punch Man below? By all means, I, I love talking about One Punch Man. It's so good. It, this was a good chapter though. Yeah, I mean, Murat is on fire at the moment. So every, like, every other week he's given us like 20, at least 20 pages. I know it's like 30, 40, 20, I don't care. Keep up the good work, Murata. He's not going to see this and he's not going to understand what I'm saying. But thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. And then that's that's when we do the punch thing, you know, because it's the series. It's, it's the one punch man. And yeah, you get it. Cool. See ya. That was a good chapter.